Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Interstellar Rift. So today we are going to make a ship from scratch uh, because I wanted to show you guys how I usually do it in some sort of tutorial. And what we are going to do today is that we're going to make a ship the, from Star Wars. I try to uh, reproduce it. And is this ship right here, the Loronar um, Scout ship. This ship is um, not well known. I think it's only part of a um, uh, role-playing game. Uh, and I don't think there's um, any other depiction, I don't know, in, the, in, the, in any of the films or um, series, TV shows. I, I didn't find it, but I, I just um, like the how it looks so and I found some um, some blueprints that we can uh, use to reproduce the ship. So here um, is a, a top view of the ship and here we have like the internal uh, layout of the ship. So it's uh, similar somehow to the uh, to the Millennium Falcon, like it has like this section, this body of the ship that is uh, a disc, and in the center it has like this launch and this um, yeah some cabins or sleeping quarters, uh, but then it has a protrusion in the front where uh, the cockpit goes. So we are um, one one thing we have to to note is or we have to decide which scale are we going to use. Um, if you go to the to the Interstellar Rift uh, wiki, it says that um, the scale of the tiles is four meters. It's a cube of four meters uh, uh, wide, right? But uh, I think this this um, measurement is uh, a little bit too big um, I mean like if we if we use this uh, this uh, m measurement or, or this scale it will be hard to reproduce it and what I saw is that um, if we place like um, uh, let's say that we place a tile right and we and we place uh, a bed, this is a, a queen size bed in it. You see that the that basically the bed occupies the whole um, the whole block, or uh, at least uh, wide wise, right? So I I thought that I would uh, have like the the side of the cube being. Uh, rescale it to or or consider the scale to be like two and a half meters or so and in this in the in the case of the of our blueprint here it would one block would be more or less the size of uh, a birth right uh, like you see uh, there close to the cockpit that we have two berths where we have uh, beds there and this room with a bed i would consider the, the the length of it to be one block so i um work out the, like this um, scale and then i figure out that the uh, that the disc, for example, of the body has approximately um, five blocks uh, radius, and the protrusion has about six blocks. So let's start with with that assumption, right? We are going first to make like the the corridor um, section. Let's rename the room to corridor. right uh, 
So there we are. We have like five. Five uh, blocks. Uh, five blocks is the diameter. Sorry, is uh, would be the diameter of the whole thing. And here at the center, it, there's a gun well. So I will exclude it. And then we make like this um, this shape here. So. There we are. This would be um, this would be like the center area of the ship. Let's place more here. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we will have now like the. like the, this center area where we have the lounge and I will select this type of um, wall okay so now here we will have the lounge right and here um, well we have we will have to decide I, uh, I think that because uh, I think the the gun well can be accessed there but let's let's assume that we can have a kitchen here for example and we will have the a bathroom in this side something like that okay and this this part will be the lounge now extending from here we will have um, the turbo lift it has two turbo lifts there and then here at the back we will have the this is the, will be the engine area right where the engines are okay so yeah but this would be another room so let's take it out we will create the engine room create the engine room and this would be this area here okay and then from here we will have doors uh, that go into into the into the engine room and then we will have from the um, From the blueprint, we see that uh, there are uh, several sleeping quarters there. So we can have like these bunk beds here, one here, one there. This this uh, ship has a lot of. Usually, I don't place so many uh, bunk beds. Um, in my creations well currently they are just decorations but since we are like trying to reproduce the the the, the ship design then um yes it's, it's like a recreation of the of the ship where we are trying to stick to the To, to our blueprints here okay and then uh, we can have like um, walls uh, for example that separate the rooms from the lounge and from each other and we will have something like that So there we are. We have like the, 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 the center part of it. 
and here I will uh, make like a, a small corner um, it can be like this and by the way I have selected already the, the the theme I usually use this one I like it uh, also sometimes I use the or the this combination with orange I like it as well but they are there is a a good range of uh, different colors that you can select but I usually do this first because uh, if you don't uh, pay attention to the to, to this um, color thing then you could end up um, you could you could end up having to re recolor everything and this can be uh, painful okay so let's uh, continue with the corridor because th this section is important like to to have an, an overview of the whole layout so there we are we have uh, six uh, blocks wide and they are like uh, two well these are different rooms here and, and at the end we will have the cockpit so I will place this single um, single block cockpit one one problem with with uh, with interstellar rift that I wish uh, developers will um, improve this uh, this specific aspect of the game is the, the li limited number of cockpits so um, it's very limited and one thing is that you you uh, when when you are deciding the layout of your ship you have to decide if it's an even or an odd uh, distribution so this is an even uh, distribution that means that um, we have a, a center block right as a single a center block uh, if it's even then uh, you will use uh, these cockpits here that they are you see that they they occupy two blocks right so this is a decision you have to 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 make if you're if the center of the ship is going to be two blocks or one block and i wish i wish it could it would be possible that uh, these different cockpits had both uh, variants right like i could use this cockpit in a, in an even um layout and not only the uh, this um sorry that i could use this this cockpit in a in a in an odd layout and not only in an even layout also this is even and then you have like this uh, this bridge and with this big uh, big bridge they did it like that like the, it, there's a the, like this um, odd version and then there is this even version that is four blocks wide so that's that's um, an issue also I don't know if it uh, one suggestion would be like to have like uh, the, the cockpit seats only and then have uh, window blocks like to have um, uh, more options for customization okay so this is our in our initial layout um, and we will have some issues that we we would have to solve so let's uh, go for the power uh, here we can place in the engine room three um, generators so these these are hydrogen generators it means that uh, these uh, generators generate power consuming hydrogen and here we see that they will generate 150 um, energy units and this is um, important if you're going to work with groups with um, power groups I usually do that uh, 
the, um, the the one thing you have to think about is that for every um, group you want to have in your ship you need one uh, generator because each generator generates 150 units and you will place a power transfer box for each group when well in my case is um, uh, is uh, the number of groups I will have minus one because I always uh, uh, I always create uh, the power group and the power group is the one that holds the power generation so it doesn't have a power box but the power box lets you um, control where the power group takes the power from so this is uh, important so I will um, I will have like these three um, power boxes here and these power boxes if you see here in the description it says that the it's uh, it generates 150 the capacity is 150 and the drainage 150 and this number is the same and what it means is that it will take 150 from uh, uh, from whatever um, group you you assign to it as the source of, of power and will give and will make 150 um, energy units available to your power group and this is 150 per tick this is the, the whatever um, the tick is uh, this is a a time unit right uh, it depends on your fps uh, it could be that it depends on your fps uh, i'm not sure but this this um, this is the the idea that you will have a a, a power box this power box can only take 150 uh, energy units per tick and it will make available 150 uh, power units to your group so in this case we're going to have a default uh, group uh, we will have a navigation group i always uh, create this navigation to handle the the, the cockpit and uh, the the uh, hyper jumps right and uh, and the other group um, would be the could be the defense group we could have a defense um, yeah the, like the defense um, systems like the shields and the armor generator and the weapons if we place one well this is something we have to decide if we're going to have uh, well the, this ship has like this uh, turret right but it could we could have different um, options there okay but let's go for the then there is like this um, uh, lower part and in the lower part we have uh, cargo and also the entrance to the ship so let's uh, start with that and you access this section by turbo lift so i will place oh this is wrong uh, you have to be careful to have selected the right um, group right so our group is the corridor it should be the corridor so here so now you see that there's like a hole there because it's part of the same room and we have we have to fill it well one part will be the lift the turbo lift and the other part we have to place here some um, some sort of catwalk or frame okay so that's that um, we can have some uh, cargo room like so there are um, two cargo rooms right
and then there is uh, the access and there's there's a ramp right there's a ramp I think the access okay here in the middle we will have like the the, the, the gone well um, let's see let's see how we can we can manage that and then there's the other section uh, is some sort of um, like um, access uh, how it's called is some ax uh, vehicle ah yes vehicle bay ancillary and vehicle bay and probably we will have to use this for another purpose because um, we don't have vehicles in, in interstellar rift and also what we are missing is um, where to put the batteries because these batteries will take space and probably we could place them there so let's call it just ancillary for now and we also need We also need um, uh, ancilla ancillary. And see, is ancillary or ancillary? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, but that would be this section here. All this section here would be ancillary. Ancillary. Sorry for my English, guys. It's not my um, mother language, but yes, we are. We're working on it. <laughs> so this is. Um, this would be uh, the place where we will use for the power we will place there a hydrogen tank and then we will need batteries so now with with the batteries right we will need um, batteries for well, there are two two um, two power sources, right? Like the the power cell and the battery. So the power cell um, works as a condenser. Like it will uh, charge and discharge very fast. Okay. And this is used. Uh, this is important, uh, for example, for devices that uh, require a lot of power. In a, in a short time they will um, there, there are some devices that will drain a lot of power in a short time uh, for example this is the case of the uh, teleporter so for example uh, here in the in the sh in the for our ship the original like um, design there is a ramp there uh, an access ramp entry ramp is called here and so there since uh, in interstellar rift there's no uh, ramp system doors or whatever the way you access your ship is uh, through a teleporter we will place a teleporter there and then um, the, for example the the teleporter as you can see it says uh, peak drain here peak drain 1000 so in that case you need a power cell because the battery 
if you uh, the, the power cell gives 50,000 the capacity is 50,000 50, uh, energy units and this 50,000 is available if uh, a, a device requires it at a, at in one tick let's say and uh, for the battery it supplies 300 uh, power units per tick so if you're going to power the um, your teleporter um, you will need 1000 uh, energy units instantly so we need at least one uh, cell to 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 power the teleporter right and what else do we need uh, for example if we have yes we have the the cockpit right the cockpit uh, if uh, in order for your ship to enter this uh, hyperspace you need a cockpit you don't need um, you don't need any um, thrusters to enter hyperspace just a cockpit and the cockpit requires um, to enter uh, the to enter warp uh, it requires uh, an initial uh, uh, discharge of 1.5 times the mass of your ship so it, as this number here you you see the the mass of, of our ship currently is uh, 5 uh, k five and a half k approximately so we have to multiply that by um by one 1.5 right and that would uh give us 7.5 k this is what we need to enter warp and I think this is also the, the 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 case every time you 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 gear for the next warp level, you will need that that kind of energy. So currently, with with us with a single cell is enough. Okay, so this is for um, navigation. We need another power cell uh, because we're going to to place uh, these things in in. Uh, in different um, power groups so one is navigation that is the that will contain the cockpit and uh, what else uh, is containing navigation beside the cockpit uh, well uh, yes I, I will place like the thrusters also in the in the navigation so this will require power so let's uh, for each group usually for each group that i have i need one um one cell if it has uh, some device that has some pick train and um, a battery so if we see here in the cockpit well it doesn't say for any information about the uh, the drain when it warps but the other part of the warping is that um, the the ship uh, when it's in warp it will um, drain more energy uh, than than usual and the energy that uh, the extra energy that it drains is displayed right here at the top so this um, ship will require 137 uh, energy units per tick and if it's fully loaded uh, ah, that's curious it's less okay but we we um, I think this calculation currently is not accurate because we we don't have any um, cargo so if we place some cargo um, let's play some cargo pallets you will see that this calculation will go up you see that it, it went up now it's 146 so it's 146 per tick fully loaded with 341 per tick 
Okay, so it's 100. Uh, it seems what it would make sense is that it, would, it is 146 fully loaded. Okay, so currently this uh, kind of energy can be supplied by a single battery, right? But but as this number goes up, um, you will see that um, the as as we add things to the to the ship this number will go up so you have to be uh, careful there so there we have uh, uh, we could do some fancy things here um one thing i was thinking is if we would uh, require um i don't know if you would like to have like the Cargo teleporter, this will be the place to 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 put it. Otherwise we can just place some decoration like this. And here we will need doors of course. Like that. And then more doors like that. Okay, so uh, the thing with the um, batteries and the power and all these things is that um, the capacity of the battery is... Um, one million uh, and a half right one and a half million energy units so you have to think about uh, how many times you can like if you are going to a, another uh, planet right and you, you the, the planet is like usually there are like four or six astronomical units eight could also be uh, farther astronomical units and it could get even to 20 astronomical units if you can make that trip with your ship this is what you have to think about and you have to test it so um, if if your ship doesn't um, store enough energy you can uh, you can have the the you can find yourself in a situation where you um, you are you are kicked out of warp in the in the middle of your trip, and this is very bad because um, then you are vulnerable vulnerable depending on your ship. It could be that um, that you are being attacked by skrills for example in, in in that case and you cannot warp um out you cannot escape if your ship doesn't have weapons or if you if you are out of ammo or something this could be really <laughs> a bad a bad um, situation to be in so this is some some decoration uh like uh, i i like to 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 have this in entrances for example so in our case yeah um currently we we there's no not much requirement we can test it right but usually i will have um uh several batteries just assigned for navigation to, to make sure that we uh, don't run out of uh, batteries, uh, out of power in the middle of a warp. So since we are having like these three groups, uh, we will need uh, at least one more battery. So let's place like all this row with batteries. So I don't know if the other group will need, um, let's see, because what we are missing now, 
is the the defense I think for the defense we have a, a small um, shield generator so this doesn't require any cells to work and we have the shields the small shield generator well this one doesn't also it says that it requires additional uh, power when uh, charging up okay ah uh, no but if the thing is yes for the weapons themselves let's see let's take a look how it's how is it looking from outside? Not too bad. Okay, at the bottom. Well, it's it, it still we need some some other uh, rooms here, but um, one thing that we need is um, where is this? We need like this, yeah, skate pots. These are very characteristic of of the of these ships. So it has usually two, one on each side. Here in the in the blueprint, I think it says one is a skate pot and the other one is um, an airlock, and I think. Um, this is also the case for the Millennium Falcon that one one can be used as uh, this uh, side um, like uh, cylindrical um, shapes uh, things can be used either as skate pods or airlocks. And let's see. So this is characteristic of this type of of ship. Okay, so what else? So I think also missing here is the shield generator. We need a shield generator and uh, an armor generator. And usually those things must be um, powered. And also we don't have ah, also we are missing like the the ammo loader and this the ammo loader takes a lot of space and I don't know probably we will have a single ammo loader I don't know usually I will place two ammo loaders maybe even this is the place to do it because there's they are big you see they're really big so two ammo loaders so we have some defense there and we need um yeah this small cpu i think we have we can put this upstairs and um, what else okay and we need also the the Turbo lift. I think uh, I'm not really sure if this is the right way to place them. Hopefully, well, it's somehow obstructing there the 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 entrance to the escape pods, but. It's uh, these escape pods are mainly decoration because well I usually <laughs> don't use them. I will um, yes when my when my ship is destroyed I will die with my ship. 
this is what they say right that the captain never abandons the ship <laughs> but um, yeah I don't know if everyone does that but in my case it's like that so if we were of course if we were to um, use this um, let's let's try it uh, the gone well gone well the gone well will be like that yes and I don't know let's see if we can place this gone well because it could be it could we could have trouble with this um, if this gone well doesn't work we will have to use I think I'm afraid it won't work like this. This is um, a limitation of um, interstellar rift. Ah, it seems that it's going to work. No, you see, it, it doesn't let me place it because we have like this. Um, we have the the ceiling of the of the the ceiling of the lower section this ceiling right here prevents us from where is it? here the ceiling at this point if we want to place something there we will have to do something like this we'll have to create a hole there and then no it still doesn't let us and still it doesn't even though i have this space here but what what is it that it requires Ah, it, it needs you see all around all around all this space around and the issue is that right now it's not looking like very good like this would be the minimum so we would have to 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 place yet another level and probably won't look good like this it's a little bit yeah now it lets me i don't know this it, the gun is so so if you see the picture let's go back to the picture of course it doesn't this is not matching so it's not very um yeah, it's not very good. So what we are going to do with this uh, gun well stuff is that pro well probably we we don't need it at all, um, because a gun well is just the access to the to the, to a turret. So what we would have is. Can place this back, I guess. So what we will have is um, a conventional weapon there, like select the right. So from the weapons, It would be just a light auto cannon. But okay, it is the light auto cannon. 
Ah, but look, it's not... Hmm. Well, that's a problem with this weapon as well. That is, now it's uh, a bit small. We will need to place two. Well, with two is okay because it, in the picture, if you see the image, it, it is a double. I think it's a double. It's called double barrel. Yeah, it's a double barrel. Okay, so that fits the description and it doesn't require us to have this gone well or at least this gone well is not it doesn't represent any useful what we could do with a gone well in any case is to have um, ammo loaders there I don't know or some other thing I would have what corresponds is to have ammo loaders but it's they're in a really bad place. Ah, what? No. Mm. Just, and it's from the bottom side. Uh, you can only fit one. And what I was thinking is how to access this uh, ammo loader. Uh, this, uh, sorry, this uh, gun well. And one block wide. And this is um, you would have to to. If you want to have stairs going up, it should be a spiral staircase. Right? These are the... These are the ones that occupy only one... It would be like this, right? Something like that. But as you can see in the second floor... <laughs> There is no way. Well, we could hmm, we could have a door there, but it's not very. It's not very good. And then ah, I think you have different uh, type two. What's type two? Ah, okay, it's different. I think where it starts and where it ends, right? Or what's the difference? That's type 1 and type 2. I don't see much difference. And type 3. Type 3 yes it starts well it doesn't have like these um, other decorations uh, you can I think with this type you can uh -huh, you can like um, put them two of them together right to create um, additional levels like this right Ah, okay, okay. I didn't know that. I usually don't use um, spiral sta staircase. Okay, but this is this here is useless. So, or gone well, <laughs> I think we'll remain for now like that. Okay, so what are we missing now? Yes, then you will have like all these uh, decoration things. Uh, here we will have like these um, catwalks. You should place them like that. And then Yeah, we can access the turbo lift.
Okay. So until now we have already um, taking care of energy it's here at the top you you can see what things are missing right uh, the game helps you with uh, with what you need so currently one thing is room ventilation each room requires um, some sort of um, ventilator or um, yeah some way to 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 provide air oxygen there this is in the life support so you have the wall air, air vent you can have um, a floor fan or you could have a ceiling fan i think in in the in our where is it in our designs here we have in our blueprints what we see here is that there's like this um, air fan in the in the floor right yeah here it seems like that air vent yeah And there's, yeah, you can see just in front of the, in front of the lounge, in front of the gunwell, there's a vent. And also in the, in the engine section, there's also a vent. Yeah, but it, it seems it seems that this this uh, ship design has the vents in the floor and there's some like a middle there's like a middle um level uh, there's all these maintenance um, corridors with crawl walks that means that um the crew has to crawl through these vents but then we will we will be placing a uh, floor fans to be like to be somehow true to the to to the original design so that's one thing and the other thing of course we will need is uh, there are no thruster of course this is also required a uh, life support armor and engines engines and thrusters maneuvering thrusters these these are all the things so the game would would um, you can collapse it here uh, the game helps you uh, giving you hints of what is missing still so ah uh, this could also be a good place for for the life support system right this gone well thing. Where is it? So if we use, we can use the ANSI ancillary. Four. This is the life support here. We can have like extra glass doors so it doesn't look um, strange. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and the other thing is, uh, well, I think for now we are. Um, I, I will make um, uh, this um, 
building thing uh, in several videos because I think for one single video is uh, too much so in, in the next video we will be uh, looking at the decoration we are still missing some important things like uh, the shield generator and the uh, armor generator um, these two things are important even if, if your ship doesn't is not a fighting vessel it's good that uh, it has this um, these things this uh, defense mechanism because at least it will give you uh, time for um, to escape right it gives you some extra time so you can escape and here uh, here we should play something like that right yeah that's that looks good there in the launch so yeah this is looking good i think um but we will we will continue this uh, in the in the next video And let's see how, how much of the semblance to the original we can get. Well, currently it doesn't look very similar, but keep in mind that we have to uh, yet work out the, the exterior part um, with the ex this exterior blocks here. So a lot of the um, aesthetics um, is this um, exterior building as well to achieve like the, the the shape you're trying to resemble so it's hard to to judge now um, how good this is uh, currently look, um, resembling it's it has a like a basic shape there okay but let's leave it here and hope to see you in the next video to finish or um lowering our scout ship so this is cyber settler signing off